What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video on our Timeliner topic for Navisworks Manage 2022. So I'm going to show you how to export and add in an external source or third-party external source into our uh, Timeliner. Okay, so first I'm going to show you how to export our uh, simulation to an AVI file. Okay, so Last video, we have learned how to configure and then adding task. And then finally, we simulate, right? By playing our uh, simulation for the structural, okay? So like what you know already, you can play this one. So you can see here this one, right? So this is the simulation. So I'm going to show you how to export this into an ABI file. So let me just... Close this one or stop. Okay, so to export your simulation, so what you can do is just click this icon here. By the way, you can select here the settings before you export your video. You can select that. You can override the start and dates of your uh, simulation. And you can also change the interval size. So 5% at the moment. So you can change that to weeks days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Okay, and then you can also specify here the playback duration of your video. So you can add from here. Like for uh, for my uh, simulation, it's 20 seconds. Okay, so that's for your simulation settings. So after you do your simulation settings, so I'm just going to select here, okay. So you can now use your export animation button here. So you can click that. And then after that, you can select from here. So for this one, um, I'm going to use the time uh, Timeliner simulation. So I'm going to select that one. And then for my renderer, I'm going to use Autodesk. Okay, so we have here viewport. And then the other one is Autodesk. Okay, and then you can select here the format. So if you want a series of pictures, JPEG, PNG file. So you can select from here. But in our case, I'm going to use here windows avi and then you can check the options here so if you want this to be very quick you can select some of the codec here like the first one and then the microsoft here but in my case i want the full frames uncompressed so this will going to be a very long uh, rendering exporting of our timeliner into an avi file Okay, so that's why I already prepared the video. So I'm not going to show you the rendering part of this uh, video. I already exported this video, so I'm going to show that to you. I'm just showing it. I'm just showing first all the settings that I have selected. So I select that one. And then you can specify here the <clears throat> uh, frames per seconds. So like, for example, 20 per... Uh, frames per second so i'm going to use this one and then for the size i'll just use the view and that's it okay so once you're done so you can now start selecting here okay so like what i have said earlier this will gonna be a very long rendering for the exporting of your uh, timeliner to an abi file okay so that's why after you select okay so you can now see here a window that shows the rendering Okay, but after that, so let me just quickly show you how the video looks like. So this is the video. So I'm going to double click that. So this will going to be look like. Okay, you can still modify this one. So this is just the raw video. So I'm just showing you how it looks like. Okay, so you can put some animation in your video. So aside from this one. But basically, this is how it looks like. So once you export your uh, timeliner or your simulation to an ABI file using these settings. Okay, so that's it. So that's for your exporting part. Now, the other part is, let's say, for example, so what you want to do is um, you just want to add or grab a third-party software to your project so that's the use of the data sources tab here okay so the purpose of this uh, exercise is you just want let's say for example to add a csv file 
and auto-populate as many fields as possible with an actual construction schedule. Okay, because most of the time for the project management side, so they already creating or created the timeline or, or the schedule of the project using the Excel, using Microsoft Project, using Primavera. Now, once they have done this part, so you can grab those files and then you can add that to your uh, Navisworks Manage Timeliner. Alright, so what I'm going to do is going to our data sources. I'm going to select add here. Let's select the CSV import. And then after that, let me just open the exercise file for this one. It's inside my folder. Navisworks. Oops, not that one. Navisworks. Timeliner. So this is the one that I'm, to, I'm going to uh, I'm talking about. So that's the Microsoft Excel file. So it's a CSV file. So I select here open. And then for this one, um, on our field selector, I will just select the task name. I just need couple of uh, task name here. Uh, uh, external field name that I'm going to add for the task name. And then for the display ID, I'll just use this one. And that's it. So I just need this uh, two field, and then I'll just select OK. So just select, uh, please specify column mapping. So I'm just going to select here, no. And there you go. So you just add it. OK, so what you can do is you can uh, refresh all the data sources. OK, so just rebuild the task hierarchy. So I'll just select here, OK, and then just select here, OK. And that's it. If you now go to your task tab, so you will now be able to see here the fields in your project. So if you move the slider down, so as you can see, these are now the uh, fields that you just got from the third party uh, software, in our case, the Excel file. Okay. So I don't know what these elements or names stands for, but the idea is just to learn how to bring in a CSV file or other third-party software into your Navisworks. Okay, so that's how you do it. Alright, so basically that's it for this video. Thank you for watching guys. Have a nice day.